you know, in America, when I don't know somebody like oh no, Omar, somebody arrives in the in the country, and they they get, if if they're grateful to the country and, and love the country, you know, America celebrates its people, you know, with amazing gratitude itself as a reciprocal they, thing. They go out of their way to do it. Absolutely, yeah. they're thrilled, and I mean. First of all, Ilan Omar is elected, so she's obviously popular with a certain number of people. Um, and it's true that she gets criticism for elsewhere, but that criticism is largely the criticism that you'd you'd feel if if somebody came to your house and you know you welcomed them and you you, you brought them to the table and then they started telling you that your cooking was terrible. I mean, it's a, there's a basic sense of you know that's kind of ungrateful, particularly and, if it wasn't terrible. <laughs> yeah, and particularly if it wasn't terrible. And 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 here's the thing for this, and it can't be stressed enough. America and the West, we're, we're the only societies that do this. We're the only societies where people actually come into the, our countries, make their way up within a generation, and and then we allow a discussion about whether their own precise career path doesn't or does demonstrate that we are wicked and awful. Yeah. Um, if, if, if you or I um, moved to um, Ilan Omar's native uh, Somalia, um, you know, it's kind of a strange choice, but 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 would we be able to get to the top of politics in that country? No way. If you or I, or Ilan Omar for that matter, moved to India, would we ever get into the Indian Parliament? No. Um, very very unlikely. 